So we're at the uh, top of Winchester Square, part of the Christmas market, and we're on a food stall, and this is a good example of what you're going to get here. Uh, you've got uh, individual uh, sausages and uh, pieces of uh, beef by the looks of it. You've got schnicks, which are uh, um, round sausages, like spirals. You've got spiche, which are uh, shish kebabs. And at the other end, you've got the pay-by-weight stuff. So that's uh, gnocchi, mushrooms, and roasted vegetables. Uh, as I try and explain to people, be very, very careful with the pay-by-weight. Uh, it does say it's per 100 grams so when they serve it to you guaranteed you will get more than 100 grams so expect to pay more than you think but at least it's fresh you can watch him cooking it Just a bit of serving going on, so you can see how they uh, how they serve it to you. Just pop it in a uh, plastic uh, box, and then they'll weigh it, and then they'll tell you uh, how much it is. Yeah, some prices here. The uh, sausages are 60 crowns. Most expensive thing is the uh, is the chicken uh, uh, speech, the chicken kebab. That's 120 crowns for one one speech. I think that's quite a bit. Uh, most of the other stuff is uh, between 40 crowns and 60 crowns per 100 grams. And as you can hear behind me, people are having a having a good time. Just a note, if you're buying sausages, uh, you get it with a slice of bread. Uh, this place only does it with bread, they don't do it with rolls, so it's not a proper hot dog. But on the edge of the, um, the, the stall, you'll find the big red bucket, which is ketchup, and the big yellow bucket, which in this case is mayonnaise. And it's also got your knives, forks, and serviettes, so help yourself. Still at the top of Winchester Square, and uh, this is one of the drink stalls. Let's see what they got. Uh, the tea tins here, one on the left, that's a cup of coffee, 0.2 litres, or tea, 35 crowns. Porka Hrushka is hot here. Uh, this is without alcohol. Again, it's a 0.2, 50 crowns. And then at the other end, you've got the, uh, the alcoholic stuff. Uh, hot wine called uh, Svavgeni Vino, uh, red or white. That's uh, 50 crowns for a 0.2. Then you got mead, which is uh, 80 crowns for a 0.2. That's a little bit expensive, but uh, lots of people queuing. First time I've seen this one, it's uh, Lucky Golden Pigs. Now this is a reference to uh, a Czech Christmas. Uh, if you don't have meat for lunch on the Czech Christmas day, which is the 24th, then you might see the Golden Pig in the evening. So it's 40 crowns for one little pig. Good luck. <laughs> It's about half past four in the afternoon, we're on Winterslash Square. This is the view you get to the top part of the square. It's twilight at the moment, not too many Christmas tree lights on at, uh, at that end, and uh, that's the end where you get the traffic. I'm now standing at the other end, that's the bottom end, which is uh, pedestrianised. So uh, I'll turn the camera around, you can take a look. So this is the bottom end, and uh, you're looking at the Van Graaff shop. They always seem to have the nicest Christmas lights. Uh, at this time of the year, let me just pan around. All the trees are lit. So you're looking down towards the end to the square. If you kept going straight forward, that takes you to the old town square. If you turn right, that's the street called Napri Copia. It takes you towards the uh, Powder Gate and the uh, municipal house. If you turn left, 
at the end of that road is the National Theatre. They split the Wenceslas Square Christmas Market into three parts this year. Uh, you've just seen the top part a bit earlier. This is the middle part, much smaller. The reason it's split is because they're building a, a new metro entry. Around the other side of here, uh, on the other side, are the non-food stalls. So we're going to go around and have a look at uh, those, see what we've got. I must admit, the queues are, are much smaller here. So if you are thinking about eating on the square, then uh, this will be the place to come if you don't want to hang around. This is the bottom end of the square. Uh, a few bits and pieces around normal kind of stalls. Uh, what's special about this one is uh, it seems to have regular hot dogs. That's called a Parek Roliku. It has uh, goulash soup. The uh, the prices of the uh, the soft drinks are all about 50 crowns. Uh, does hot cider as well in uh, in Czech? This is called Mosht. Uh, does the uh, Sojourner Vino? That's the mulled wine. Again, pretty normal price, 50 crowns for two liters. And you can get beer uh, draft here as well. Draft, half a liter of beer, same as the rest of the square, 50 crowns. And you can pay here by credit card as well. So uh, that's a bonus. So what we're looking at here is the Langosh hut. Kind of looks like a pizza, but uh, it's only got like a, a tomato sauce and uh, cheese and uh, garlic. They're the three most uh, popular ingredients. And the thing that the guy is serving at the moment is a twill of a potato roasted. So it's like a big chip on a stick. So a big chip on a stick is 50 crowns and the langosh, the pizza-like thing with uh, cheese, ketchup and garlic is 60 crowns. Let's have a look at a few places on the square. Where's this our square? Bottom part. So we've, uh, we've already been to the, uh, the langosh place. Next to it is a potato chips place, which is selling basically only the fried potatoes part. Uh, one centre shot now is a hot wine punch, Hawkey Vinny punch. Uh, this guy's got a special uh, nay alcohol, that's a no alcohol svajak, that means it's a hot wine but without alcohol. He's got that on for a 0.2 litre for 30 crowns and he's got the regular svajak, regular hot wine, 0.2 litres, 50 crowns. Next to it you've got a regular Christmas decoration stall. And a little bit further down you've got a place called Medovina Elisa. Uh, in English Medovina is mead. Uh, he's also doing the uh, the hot wine, the Svajak, same price, two desis for uh, 50 crowns. The Medovina is a bit more expensive, um, one deciliter, 39 crowns, two deciliters, 70 crowns. Uh, if you go to Namiste Republiki, that's Republic Square, Christmas Market, uh, that'd be about 10%, maybe even 20% cheaper. Uh, just an example of uh, some of the stalls you've got on Wenceslas. This is uh, kind of a craft one. They've got little bits and pieces, letter openers, uh, pens, some uh, ceramic stuff, toys. And then on this side, you've got the more popular one. It's got lights, there's a candle, um, spinners, a bit more colorful. Uh, good if you want uh, souvenirs. Can't see any uh, prices on uh, on anything. Oh, yes, I can. The tea candle spinners, the one, the the jars which spin the uh, the little uh, uh, propeller above it. They are three hundred crowns. Expensive. If you want it, you can pay for it. Václavská Kolbasa hot dog stand on the bottom of Wenceslas Square. Um, hot dogs are around 60 crowns, uh, 100 crowns or 110 if you want a bottle of soft drink. They also do small bottles uh, of uh, sect, that's uh, sparkling wine. They do small bottles of uh, regular wine and they do half litre tins of Kozel beer. So 
I'll just give you an idea of some of the prices. Uh, a 0.187, that's just under a 0.2 of uh, red wine, uh, 50 crowns. Same for white wine, Bohemia Sect. The small bottle, 0.2, is 80 crowns. And the large bottle, that's a 0.75, 250 crowns. That's about 100 crowns uh, more than you can get it in a shop just across the road. Uh, draft beer. 40 crowns for uh, a 0.5, that's the cheapest so far. Uh, the tins, uh, 50 crowns for a half litre tin, 35 for a 0.3. You can get no alcohol beer here. Uh, looks like it's going to be a tin, 0.3 litre, 35 crowns. So this is a stall, it uh, has the sign called Hot Punch. Now the difference between uh, hot wine, that's Fagione Vino, and Hot Punch is that the punch has spices and rum. The, uh, the hot wine may only have uh, cinnamon in it. This is very popular. They do a, uh, a mead here, which is called Medovina. You can see it, they sell bottles of it, it's very nice. What I would suggest is uh, a one deciliter is uh, 39 crowns here. Give it a go, try it, and if you like it, buy a bottle. It's because uh, you will not find it back home. <laughs>